Hello, Harry from the future here. I've finished my exams at this point, but um, we'll get on to that later in the vlog. I want to tell you about today's sponsor. This vlog is sponsored by ProPrep. ProPrep is an online platform for STEM university courses. I've spoken about them before in two previous videos, but I'm here to let you know about them again. All you have to do is log in, enter your university, and there are then thousands of videos tailored to you. I'm at the University of Manchester, so if I put Manchester in and select maths, I can see all of my maths courses on there. I can then select a topic and there is a professor that takes me through that topic. So if I need that little extra help, I'm unsure on a topic, I can go on pro prep and I can learn everything I need to know about that topic. There's exercise sheets and study guides to help you. You can use them alongside the videos. A professor goes through the videos and then you can have a go at the exercises. And if you're stuck on a question, you just don't know where to start, you're able to ask one of the professors at Pro Prep to help you. There's a link in the description down below where you can get a 14 day free access to the website and then 30% off other memberships. Thanks again to Pro Prep for sponsoring this video. Now let's jump on with the exams. Good morning, I've got myself a water, I've got myself a green tea in my maths teacher mug hopefully. We'll channel those maths teacher vibes and do well today. It's currently five minutes to nine and I'm talking quietly because everyone's asleep. I'm going to uh, open the exam at nine and we have to finish it around about three hours. I've got to submit it by one. So hopefully we're going to do well. I'll uh, see you on the flip side. I'll see you when it's done. Right, exam complete. Number one is done. That was linear algebra. All done, all complete, submitted. We still have a little bit of time to submit it. We had three hours to do it, then we had a window of submission from 12 to one. It's currently like five to one. Um, I'm so hungry, very, very hungry, but it was actually quite good. They could have put loads of proofs in there that were not really like searchable, if that makes sense. There was only two parts, like uh, two subsections of the questions that I was a little bit unsure of. I'm gonna go and get something to eat, then I need to revise for um, the next exam, which is calculus and applications, which I think is on Monday. <laughs> this is the finished dinner, avocado on toast. It doesn't actually look that appetizing, but um, I think I'll enjoy it. You can make up anything you want, but you need two extra conditions if you don't have these. So you, you can see this, this is quite transparent in this example here. If I start with the third order equation, I'm going to make it three times. And It's Thursday. Today I am just watching some uh, videos from my ODE course. I think I'm going to be slightly pushed for revision for this exam. It's calculus and applications. I'm watching some ODE stuff, but I can kind of do this stuff because I did quite a lot of it. Further maths, solving ODEs was, you know, kind of a lot of further maths. And I love maths as well, actually. I'm just refreshing. The second half of the course is what I need to focus on. That is the mechanics side of it. Watching my lecturer's video, it's on existence and uniqueness. Basically, this is an ODE. If we look at these two functions here, one over x and two, if they're continuous, then a solution exists everywhere, I think. But because this one over x is not defined for zero, it's just these two intervals. So that's what I'm doing at the minute. I'm also going out tonight. We're going to watch a film. We're going to a drive-in cinema with my sister. She's next door. She can probably hear me. And uh, our friend Olivia. So, alls if you're watching, a shout out. We're going to watch Mamma Mia in a drive-in cinema. So, it'd be nice. I'm just doing a bit of provision. Then I'll have a little break tonight. But that would be quite nice. I need to get in the shower. Actually, let's show the viewers that we have some... We're currently out. We have some dough balls. A little time lapse. <laughs> We have a huge pizza. What's this? Oh, it's a pizza cutter. Pork, salsa, herbs. No cheese, don't like cheese. Harry's moving, look at her. No, I'm coming out. She's on It's like the mass dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
daddy gave and made the shiver. Uh, I think someone's dead. Yeah, I bet you do. You can dance. You can dance. Having the time of your life. We are now back home. I have uh, had a wonderful night. It was so much fun. We went to the cinema, as you saw. It was a drive-in cinema in uh, near the Trafford Centre in Manchester. It's now quarter to one, so it's a bit late, but I've just made myself a green tea. Everyone's asleep apart from my mum, who I can hear her coming up the stairs actually. She's just been drying her hair. My exam's on Monday and it's calculus and application, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I get everything done. Lots of revision ahead in the vlog. See you later. <laughs> Hello, it is uh, Saturday now and I didn't speak to you yesterday. I can't remember why. I can't remember what I did yesterday. I did revision. I have just finished the first half of my calculus and applications course. I haven't got the same amount of time to revise for this course than I did my linear algebra course because I didn't want to revise like two courses at the same time just because I would have got completely overloaded in my opinion. So I did all of linear algebra, did that exam and now I've just finished the first half of the ODE revision and then tomorrow I can just spend all day revising the mechanics side of the course like the application side. The end weeks might be a little bit harder because they're quite hard but I have done those more recently so that's why I'm not going to spend too much time on them. It is currently 4.57 and I have a video that I can never say this word I've said it before it's um a premiere, a premiere of this video, premiere, I don't know. It's going live basically and everyone can watch it together. And it's my statistics coursework results. So it's premiering, premiering, whatever the word is, I can't say it, but it's uh, going live in 60 seconds. So I'm here, I'm gonna watch it with everybody. And then, um, yeah, I will catch up with you later today. My first exam, I think it's on the 19th. So I've got to get working for that. I've nearly finished revision for linear algebra, which is brilliant. Subscribe down below. <gasps> Hello, it's uh, 10 past 11 on Saturday night and I haven't done anything since I last spoke to you. We had tea, we watched some telly and I need to finish on my revision tomorrow. So I did just look at my spreadsheet that if you saw my uh, what I'm doing to prepare for my exams video, I did a big spreadsheet. I haven't stuck to it perfectly, which is kind of annoying, but I didn't think I was going to stick to it perfectly. For linear algebra, it was great. I stuck to it absolutely, but I haven't planned calculus and applications on there. So maybe I need to do that. That, but tomorrow I need to do the rest of the second half of the course. It's going to be quite a busy day tomorrow. Then our exams on Monday. We have two parts for this exam. We have an online part where we like select multiple choice or whatever. And we have a written part as well. So hopefully I'm going to do all right. I think I will do. I'm going to go to bed now because it is... Oh, it's 11.11. Make a wish. Okay, I've made a wish. Hello. It's currently 22 minutes past 11. I haven't vlogged today. I revised loads, but I just forgot to vlog for some reason. I got all of my second part of the course done. I did all the exercises in the notes. I watched some videos. I say I got all of it done. I didn't manage to get the final tiny bit done, but I think we'll be okay because I'm not actually sure whether it's exam examinable or not. I'm going to set my alarm for half seven tomorrow because my uh, exam is at nine. We have two exams tomorrow, so... I'm going to try and get the written exam done first, I think, because that's 9 to 1 submission. And then the online part from multiple choice is 9 to 4, I think. Or it could also be 9 to 1. I'm going to have to check that in the morning, but I'll get it done. No, it can't be 9 to 1. I think it's 9 to 4. I'm not too sure. Might check that now. Good morning. It's the day of my calculus and applications exam. 
I have just got showered, just got ready, um, just charging my iPad to make sure I have enough charge, even though it's on 94%, can never be too sure. It's currently uh, half eight, so I'm going to go and get something to eat and get something to drink and then I did my desk yesterday and made it all nice and tidy and then we'll be ready to do another exam. Hopefully it goes well, let's go and make some breakfast. Now I don't know what to have, I might have Weetabix, or I might have muesli, or I might have malted Wheaties. I think I'm going to have some Weetabix, that might be a good idea. Mum's just informed me that there is no bread, so I'm going to have some more Weetabix than usual. Usually I have three, so I have three here, but then I'll have maybe another three. Six Weetabix, is that too many? I don't know. Always need a little bit of sugar on the Weetabix. A little bit of sugar, perfect. I was that hungry that I ate my Weetabix in the space of like not even a minute. Now it's time to make a green tea and I'm probably gonna make myself a water as well so I've got one ready. Big glass, let's make a water. Got my maths teacher mug again. I did well on the first exam with this so hopefully it gives me those same good teacher vibes and we do even better on this one. Oh, it's a new bag of tea. Right, it is 8.58. I'm talking quietly because my sister is asleep next door. I've got two minutes until the exam's released. I'm just going to find it online here. Um, hopefully it goes all well. I will update you once I've finished. I've got myself some Haribos to keep me going. I've uh, got my green tea again and I've got my water and it's 8.59 so I'm going to go so I can get my exam up ready and I'll speak to you after the exam. That was hard. I found that one quite hard for some reason. There was, so basically there was two sections and one of them was perturbation methods, which if you've done perturbation methods before, it was an ODE one. So I got to the final bit and I had to solve my three ODEs. I could solve the first one. The second one had some weird function of full of sine and cosines on the right hand side. So I didn't have to do that one. Um, Oh no, I think I got, no, it was the third one I couldn't do. The third one, I was just like, my bones. So I don't think I've got full marks on the first one, but it's fine, I gave it my best shot. And then the three questions were mechanics questions that were the application side of it. We only had to do two of them, so we could choose the two. I actually attempted all three because I got stuck on all three. So I thought, right, move on to the next one and see whether we can do the next one even better. So I managed to kind of do the um, final two of the three. So I didn't do the first one. The first one was probably the easiest, but I just didn't do it. It was hard, but I feel as though I did okay. I'm not really sure. It's kind of like where you can't really judge. I was up at the board because I thought, right, Harry, you sat in silence here and it just wasn't going in my brain. So I did some stuff on the board and I think that kind of helped me a little bit. So I answered every question. I have an answer for every question apart from the first one. I know my answer is wrong, but I just wrote it anyway. And also as well, right, I went, <laughs> I went, but was on the, um, exam page and I refreshed it halfway through the exam and it says that there was a typo in the exam. How can you submit an exam with a typo? That's just stupid. So I did think that, but that was the question that I didn't submit, submit because I was doing the question and it was integrating vectors and I was like, uh, something doesn't seem right here and there was a miss, there was a typo and it's, I'm reading it off here, it said YTJ when it should have actually said YTK, which I thought so. I thought that's weird that it, it's um, got a J on. But anyway, I didn't do that question in the end because I didn't submit it. It was rather annoying. Right, I've had something to eat. I had some dinner and it's currently 20 past two. I took a little bit longer 
break, but we've got until four to submit this exam. So an hour and 40 minutes, there's six parts, uh, six questions per part. There's one part for the ODE part of the course. There's another part for the applications part of the course. So hopefully we'll do well. I will see you after the exam is done. Okay. I didn't expect it to give us our results straight away, but it has done. 19 out of 39. It doesn't tell you where you've gone wrong. Well, it's 19.15, but it doesn't tell you where you've gone wrong. I found that really hard. I'm not really too sure what to think. Um, okay, well, I've submitted it and that's my result. That's not bad. 19, that's 20 marks. Mm, is it great? I don't know. It's so weird, right? I just feel like this has been really hard today. Um, so that was just the online test. We had six questions from, I can't even think. <laughs> six questions from the ODE part, six questions from the applications. I could do everything apart from the final two questions of the applications. The ODE wasn't bad. Right, let's have a chat. Everything's going wrong today. What's my bulbs just, what's this doing? What What's this all about? Why is it flashing? Just got myself a parcel, it's just come through the door. We've just been to the vets because the other day I noticed, I think it was last week, can't quite remember to be honest. I noticed that Hilda, one of my guinea pigs, had a little patch behind her ear that was like a little bit dry, a little bit. And we just took her to the vets now, she's fine. She has got some gel for that. So hopefully her ear is okay. I have ordered myself a phone case. Now that's because I have got myself a new phone because my contract ran out. This is totally random, but I just feel like chatting to you. And it's an iPhone 12, so I need a new case. And my iPad case, which is not on my iPad at the minute, is from a company called ESR. And I thought, okay, found it on Amazon. It's a case from there, so I thought it's gonna be pretty good because so is my iPad case. And it was only something like 629, which is quite good. It's just a clear iPhone 12 case. I went for the blue iPhone 12. I currently have an XR, but I don't know where that is. But I went for, ooh, that's really nice. Right, let's talk about these exams. So the first exam I had today was calculus and applications. It was hard. I got an answer for everything, but I just thought it was hard. It didn't follow the past papers. It didn't follow the questions that we were used to, or the style, or I don't know, it was just weird, right? I've, I, I've done it now, so it's in the past. I can't even change my, can't do anything about it, it's done. So I could talk about it quite freely, right? It was a bit strange. First of all, there was an error in the question. Luckily, we refreshed the submission page and it said update, there's a typo on the exam. How do you submit an exam that has a typo in it? I have absolutely no idea. And there were three questions, we had to submit two of them, this was the first one of the three that we had two to submit, if that makes sense. And I didn't submit this one in the end because I didn't have a clue what I was doing. It was a projectile question, a little bit like uh, A-level mechanics. And I was staring at it thinking, I've no idea. I haven't seen anything like this in this course. So skipped over that one. The um, two application ones that I did do, one was on the path equation. The other one was, I can't remember now. I've blocked it out of my head, but it, they were, it was okay, it was just weird. I got an answer to everything, whether those answers are correct or not, I really don't know. I'm gonna calm down now, Hilda's all right, she's been to the vet, she's got some drops, which is fine, and I'm not gonna do anything else for the rest of today. I've just been delivered this um, iced latte. It's a vanilla iced latte with caramel syrup and caramel drizzle. You can tell I like the sugar. It's a small one, but I'm just doing some sequences and series revision for my exam tomorrow. So my sister just went to Starbucks, not just for me, she was going for herself as well. Oh my gosh, I've revised so much today. I've been revising all day, which is kind of no different to really what I usually do. <laughs> Look at Mickey Mouse in the con, lol. Uh, I've been revising all day because tomorrow is my sequences and series exam. So it's currently 20 past 11, so I need to be asleep really. My exam's at nine tomorrow and we have three hours, well we have two hours to do the exam, we have an hour submission. So really i kind of have like two and a half hours to do the exam it has it needs to be submitted by 12. tomorrow i'm going out so i have my exam tomorrow then i have a driving lesson tomorrow i'm also going out 
Probably not going to vlog that because I'm probably not going to take my vlogging camera into Manchester but we're going out for my friend's birthday and it'll be a nice break from revision and then I need to start revising for sequences and series. No, I don't. I need to start revising for statistics. But we've got quite a bit to revise for that. It's on the 9th of June. So I'm going to go to bed now and I'll probably see you in the morning. Sat at my desk frantically worrying. It's 5 to 9 so it's nearly time to sit down at the desk. I'm just going to go fill my water up. Right, I'm going to do, do my exam. Got myself a green tea as well. Right, see you after the exam. Hey, submitted. What? Oh! Uh, I've forgotten how to vlog. It's like a week later now. I don't remember the last time I spoke to you. My final exam is on Wednesday. That's the 9th of June. I have been quite distant for this past, like, maybe just over a week from the 29th of May, which was Friday, I think, to today. I just haven't done much. I don't really know why. I've struggled a little bit to find motivation. I feel as though it possibly could be because this exam was, like, so um, out of sync my others. I had all of them quite close together. I've not um, done that much and it's quite nice that I haven't done that much in a way. I don't feel too unprepared for this exam. In terms of revision, I've not done that much but I did quite have a, a busy weekend. So I had my exam on the Friday and then I went out Friday night. We went for something to eat for one of my friend's birthdays. I uh, we went out to Manchester and we also went to play golf unexpectedly at the end which was quite fun. We went round, it was called Tree Tree treetop golf or something can't remember but we went there and then on saturday we went to watch an evening with shirley ballas in liverpool if you don't know who shirley ballas is which you might do she's the head judge on strictly come dancing and we went to watch her show it was brilliant it was just so nice to be back in the theater again it was just a small theater in liverpool it was the grand central hall i think and it was just so much fun got to meet shirley said hi and i'll put a picture of us here um it was just really nice to be out so I didn't do much that weekend and then on the Sunday what did I do? Um, I did something oh went out with uh, my sister and her boyfriend Lewis and our friend Lorna. My camera battery is flashing so it's going to die. I'll put it on charge see you tomorrow <sighs> I don't know whether you can see me but it's now the morning of my final exam yay! Good morning everybody it's three minutes to nine and it's my last exam today. I've just got myself a green tea as usual How many times have I said that in this vlog? I've also got myself a bottle here that I need to fill with water What I need to do actually is I need to just set up a notes pad on notability because I actually forgot to do it yesterday So let's just do that now I'll see you after my final exam is done. I've got one minute till it's released very excited to get all the exams done and then I can just chill until September. <laughs> right, see you after the exam. Exams are all done. I can take these off now. Oh, um, that wasn't too bad, actually. That was not too bad. I was surprised that there was quite a lot of definition stuff in there. Um, and that's kind of because we can just look up the definitions. I was a little bit surprised at that. I didn't think there was going to be so many, but it was actually quite similar to the previous papers that I've done. I did one yesterday, um, and that was, it was quite similar to that one. So, excuse me. It wasn't a bad paper. It was quite nice, but that's my first year of university finished. <laughs> it's really weird. I thought I would do a little section in the vlog here just like I did at the end of my semester one exam vlog. What a weird year, but now we just have to wait for results. All done now, nothing I can do, so just put it behind me and uh, we're just gonna wait for results. That's all I've got for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. Thanks, uh, my mum just rang and I also got cut off because my SIM card ran out of memory. What I was saying is thanks again to ProPrep for sponsoring this video. Uh, check everything out in the description. And that's all I've got to say, thank you for joining me in my semester two exams and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!